Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Well, today's video is a good news for the newbie in catfish farming. Because I would like to share with you some important points in order to become successful in the field of catfish farming. I started with zero knowledge about this and it's been my promise to you that I would be open in all the things that we do in so far as this farming is concerned. And one of the things that I have discovered in catfish farming is to breed them naturally. We have two processes, how to breed this one, the natural and the artificial method. Forget about using the stimulants because they can be bred in a very natural way. You can just put the male catfish together with the pregnant female catfish in a tank where there is clean water. And that's what we are practicing right now. And you will see here inside in our breeding tank that there are so many hatch of this uh, catfish and they are just bred naturally. We put them together in this breeding tank and they spawned actually many eggs and it was hatch. The next thing that maybe you will ask is, Dexter, how would you take care of the fry? Well, this is very important because this stage of fry care is actually one of the hardest part in catfish farming because the fry needs to be given too much attention. They also be given always this fresh water and our way of giving them the fresh water is of course to add new water and then drain the old one just a small percentage of this maybe 20 percent every day the second stage is when our baby catfish now will start to eat because they need a bigger space and maybe you will ask me dexter why do they need this bigger space because they will start eating it's other they will practice cannibalism and this is where i failed before one way to address the issue is to put them immediately in the mud pond and the downside of putting them in the mud pond is the fact that there are many predators so i decided to make an experiment and this is a very successful experiment after five days of hatching i will put them in a small mud pond where i can monitor their conditions Putting the baby catfish inside the mud pan will ensure our success that there is high percentage of survival rate. If you will just put them in the concrete box, the temperature is not constant, meaning that if it's daytime, it's very warm and it's very cold during nighttime. So I have made a study on this and I have discovered that putting the baby catfish inside the mud pan where the temperature is almost constant even during the day or night is really beneficial and i have tried this one that's why i'm sharing this with you because this will be now the solution to the cannibalism why because the inferior ones can just hide in the mud and i have observed this many times that if they are in the mud pan they will also grow big So now, I'm going to share with you our success. We are going to harvest the four months old catfish that were thrown in the mud pan. We anticipate to harvest uh, more than 500. I don't know if we can still harvest uh, some good number because there were so many catastrophes that have experienced by our country. That uh, typhoon Odette in the Philippines have also caused some uh, flooding here and I don't know if uh, how many of these catfish were able to escape. But I'm still very hopeful that we can still harvest more. And these are big catfish. They really are now big. 
see can we release this so that our viewers can uh, view you see that wow oh i think one of this will weigh around three four to one kilo see that that's huge huge catfish and that's very delicious and this is our conditioning tank you will see that we put this some new water right here and uh, this is our beef harvest of this catfish and i'm very interested to weigh them we will weigh them here i don't know if uh, we will remove first the the water okay we will weigh this one okay no water see very big catfish right here and we will weigh them here oh my goodness that's uh, 2.5 kilos if we will remove them and then we will minus the weight of this pail so more or less we can estimate uh, how much is the weight for this so we will release them that's 2.2 on one half kilos so we will release them here jump jump oh you're pregnant jump okay and then we'll weigh this one so the pail is uh, 900 grams so the three of this catfish weighs around 1.5 kilos so meaning each of them weighs around 500 grams or one half kilo so this is good enough you will see that uh, this uh, catfish really breeding is very enjoyable also and aside from you will enjoy breeding uh, this is also a good source of an income. Who are you? And you know guys, the daily consumption of our catfish is really very organic because you look at this Azola right here. This is the main food for our catfish. We're giving them every night because they are very active during the night and they will eat all this Azola. We have so many right here. So we will get one half of this box on the Monday, one half of the box on the Tuesday, one half of the box on the Wednesday and one half of the box on the Friday. Another batch is here. How many kilos? We already have 19 kilos plus another 7. So all in all we have 26 kilos minus 1 kilo. That's 25 kilos. So 25 kilos plus how much? 9 kilos. That's 34. 34 kilos. Whoa.
you know, your favorite food is Zala. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Wow. Your Azola. Your Azola. Gino is also eating much of this Azola. Okay, Gino. Oh, <laughs> oh you're feeding the chickens. Oh, oh, oh. Gino, your feet. Oh, my God. Oh, Gino is very heavy. Oh. You know, come on. You are eating too much also of the Zosola. You see Gino, guys, is also eating Zosola. Oh, what's that? <laughs> and Gino is already old. He's already eight months old, I, I think. That's why you get so big very quickly because you eat a lot of the Zosola, Moringa, and other grasses and not only the chickens the ducks are also eating this one the turkeys come on let's feed the turkeys come on come on come on turkeys the turkeys come here And don't you know that we already have uh, sold the poults of these turkeys to the pet shop? We already sold more than 50 heads of the poults. And uh, we are making an income out of breeding these turkeys. We do have here the mother plants of our Azola and if you're gonna put this in an empty box they will rapidly multiply so we will put some starters in a small box and then they will multiply and after two weeks you can already start the harvest and you will see that our chickens you will see here they will really love to eat this one you see our chickens right there are eating and maybe you will ask how to plant azola. Of course, in planting azola, we have discovered another new technique. We will provide them with nutrient solution for the lettuce. And this is also an amazing fact that I have discovered. Of course, if you don't have nutrient solution, you can use the cow dung as fertilizer instead. But in my case right now, I'm using the nutrient solution for the lettuce. And I have discovered that this is very quick to multiply. Okay, then. Ah. Okay. Ah. 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 Ah.
So all in all, we have gotten 75 kilos. Uh, it's a bad harvest, but of course I can consider this because we have no control over the fortuitous event or this uh, act of God events. So, but still, we're, I'm very hopeful because we already have perfected the process of breeding in uh, fry care and also the rearing in the mud pond. These are already perfect and the tips that we have told you are actually an honest to goodness uh, revelation in so far as our experiences in this uh, catfish farming is concerned. And uh, I hope you will continue to like and share our videos. Uh, we are uploading videos regularly and if you are not subscribed to this channel, may we humbly ask you to ple please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are regularly uploading videos only here at Dexter's World!